Okay, so out with the old mouse because frankly, well, it was uh, disgusting. All the buttons don't work anymore. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new mouse, and this is it: the HXSJS500 RGB backlit gaming mouse. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Right, yeah, so I ordered one of the, in fact I've got two now, uh, bought one for the other half as well, and uh, what I did notice first off was that there is, actually if you see my ma uh, mouse here, uh, there is a little button here, and I'll show you a little video in a little while of the colour cycling, but there is a button here and it changes the colours, so it is slightly different to the picture that they show you there. Uh, it also comes with um, some software that you can alter what the buttons do but on default they are DPI um, and on these buttons here they're forward and back so it's quite nice you don't have to install any software if you don't want to they just work flawlessly nice and easy with uh, the windows uh, I'm running on Windows 10 it seems to be fine with that but what I do is if I get rid of that and we open up the S500 gaming mouse software it comes with a little CD Start that out. Oh, there you go. Uh, so there you go. There's uh, there's a little software for it, and you can alter the four DPI settings. So I've just changed them to super maximum and a little bit nice slower there. And what I do like is you can click on the advanced setup and it changes the precision of the pointers and you can do some sort of script in here by the looks of it as well. I haven't really got into that at all yet. Um, but on the basic setup you can actually change these mouse so you can change it to left to right or right to left if you want to and there's all other uh, different options like instead of having forward and back you could have uh, all sorts of different settings here. There's media settings so a player, volume up, volume down or all different types of uh, uh, there's obviously a macro there as well, so you, it's quite it's quite adaptable. You can change it to whatever you want, really. Uh, not that I'm going to get into that. All I just wanted was a, a fairly basic mouse that was going to be okay to use, and it looked pretty. And I could change it; and it could flash around and do all that. So this is basically the software. Like I say, you don't even have to really install this software unless you really want to change some of the uh, customizable functions. It works perfectly fine without it. So uh, yeah, so that's it. So what I'll do is, if I uh, I'll end this video. It's only a quick little video uh, on a, on a mouse. But to be honest with you, it's it's one of those soft feel, rubbery sort of texture mouses, and it's a nice shape. It, it does what it does, and uh, yeah, it, it seems to be working fine. Uh, I had a rat mouse before and that lasted years so hopefully this one will as well without all the battering of the playing of the games and so forth but like I say it's very customizable and it's very good so I'll leave you with a little video now of the different color modes that it cycles through and uh, as always the links down in the bottom there and uh, happy mousing <laughs>